Hello folks and welcome to day seven of our Dorset holiday. So guys, slightly different intro to normal, but uh, you join us on a, a walk to uh, Corf Castle. So we're uh, on the sort of walk through the sort of footpath. There's not that to a brilliant footpath absolutely beautiful views all around here we've seen a couple of deer and uh, bits and pieces like I didn't like that one too. so guys you join us on a slightly different so guys there's a slightly different intro to normal but uh, you join us on the footpath to Corf we're having a well I'd sort of have a few hours in Corf. We're going to go and probably have a cream tea, look round the castle. But at the minute, we're on the path to Corf. So uh, this runs sort of parallel to the main uh, A351 into Corf. So uh, we're just going to go through the gate. So, as I said, guys, we're on our way to Corf. Gonna have a, so a few hours in core. Probably have a cream tea. There's no probably about it. Anyway, guys, you don't want to be looking at uh, my ugly mug, so I'm gonna show you a bit of this path. We have walked it before, so uh, not gonna do too much, guys. But anyway, I'll spin you around so you can uh, enjoy this beautiful view. So, guys, this is the path wrong. Look at this, look. Absolutely lovely. Quite close to the main road though, as I said guys, but uh, this is the path we're heading for towards Corf Castle. Don't think I'd want to do this in the pouring rain. But there you go guys. Absolutely beautiful and I can report again. It's the start of another baking hot day <laughs> oh. right, you got that. Anyway guys, we'll bring you back uh, when we get to uh, a view of the castle Oh. Uh, I forgot to mention again, this is probably going to be more of a, a photographic day because uh, as we've rejoined the National Trust guys we can now uh, actually going to go and have a look around uh, the ruins of uh, Corf Castle but anyway guys, I shall bring you back when we've uh, got a bit of a view of uh, Corf or Corf Castle I should say so guys, we're a little bit further along the path come out into the sunshine now so. Uh, I suppose that is all you won't see it guys but sort of in the middle of the picture there's a bird of prey just hovering see it you see him so he's obviously spotted something but anyway guys we come out into the sun a bit now it's a bit warmer again so I'm not gonna do it justice but over there guys is the magnificent Corf Castle or what's left of it So we basically got to go all the way around this route when we come out at the base of that guys so this is the sort of path we're going to be walking on so again guys we've done this before so we're not going to waste your time looking at this we're just going to enjoy this uh, beautiful view and i'll bring you back probably when we're at the base of the, the castle there is another path down there actually which if you wanted to walk a little bit more easier so we say guys but uh, this is a nice direct route from the, the campsite, so uh, nice and easy for us. Anyway guys, I would say onward and upward, but I think it's... Hey. Oh, can you hear the train? Don't know why you picked that up. Which way he's going? Is he coming in? That'd be leaving, wouldn't it? I don't know, might be coming back into Norton, Nor Nor Northern. Not Norton, that's a motorbike. 
Uh, guys, as I say, onward and upward, or in this case, onward and downward. That, that's Corf Castle, guys. I'll leave you with that uh, beautiful view of Corf and the train in the background. We could be coming closer, I don't think we'll see it. Might, well, it's just in the trees. I'll get in a gap in a minute by the building, which is in the middle, we're going to see it. There it is, guys. Oh, and the observation car is on. We think we'll probably be going on that tomorrow, maybe. Now, that building sort of in the middle, that's the actual National Trust sort of centre there, guys. Anyway, a bonus bit of the video, steam train. Oh, and a whistle as well. So you probably wouldn't have seen that very well, guys. So guys, we've now arrived uh, at Corf, or should I say, nearly arrived at Corf. Just got this last little um, slope to ascend. All right, bye bye. So uh, we're probably going to have a cream tea. We're going to have a cream tea. Yeah, be rude not to. Yeah, be rude not to. Yeah. So I think that's our next uh, visit. I think cream tea, and then we're going to have a wander around the castle. But first of all, we've got to get up this. Uh, Slope guys, so uh, yes. <sighs> Puffing the blowing already. Anyway guys, we'll catch you a bit later on, probably round Corf or round the castle. So folks, here we go. We are about to uh, enter Corf Castle. So there'll be more photography and uh, less video, I suspect, guys. But uh, this is the uh, entrance to Corf Castle. So that's where we walk down through there. So. Uh, Come and join us for a stroll around Corf Castle. So guys, here we are at the castle. We're just gonna have a walk around now. So it'll be more photos and videos, I think, on the M50 now, guys. So uh, we'll uh, bid the GoPro farewell for now, I think, guys. Let's have a look out this window. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, there's a railway over there. Oh, it's a breeze. Look at this little sea. Well, right over the desert, that's Paul Bay, isn't it? Yeah. Right over. Yeah. And Brown Sea, I probably suspect. But there you go, guys. Oh, that's for a few. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping to get a train over here, guys. Mm -hmm. Some of Dorset's countryside. probably uh, maybe get a cold drink or something we might even go around the model village at Corf but uh, that's our visit to Corf Castle excellent place one day they're finished building it but uh, 
We've been coming here over 30 years and they haven't finished building it yet, so I don't know. One day it's back they will. Anyway guys, catch you a bit later on. So guys, a bit further on in our adventure and we are walking and heading towards Northern Park and Ride. So we've uh, come out of Corf or the village of Corf. Uh, made our way to the National Trust car park, which you can then uh, walk from the Corf National Trust car park into the Northern Park and Ride. We were going to get a bus, but uh, it'd be about five seconds on the bus, so we decided against it. But uh, we're going to head to uh, Northern, and you never know, the mining museum might be open. So Friday, I think it could be open today. Probably knowing our luck it won't be, but if, if the mining museum is open, we might have a look. Anyway guys, we're going to go up uh, through this uh, little footpath through the bushes, so uh, we'll catch you up the other side. So there you are guys, we've arrived at Northern Station. So uh, we've sort of walked uh, parallel to that uh, railway line. There's Corf Castle up there. We spent a couple of hours up there, guys. And this is Northern Station. Hopefully the uh, mining museum is open. If not, that will be something for yet another day. So folks, here we are. That concludes our visit to Corf Castle and the village of Corf and as expected the mining museum doesn't open on Friday <laughs> typical so today is Friday so it's not open Oop. so as the uh, guys we're heading back towards uh, the site now so I think we'll call that uh, it for today so we're just gonna go back have a bite to eat and a bit of a chill out this evening so uh, I will bid you fond farewell as it were guys and we will catch you on the next one so uh, hope you've enjoyed our visit to uh, Corf with us and uh, we'll catch you on the next one and I've just an old car, an old marina, how about that, who remembers a marina? To be of a certain age to remember a Morris marina, anyway guys we will uh, catch you on the next one so until then, bye bye for now